One moment. Okay, so you guys are the same characters that you were last time, except, um, does anyone remember what character Ben played? Mr. Collins. He was Mr. Collins? Okay, Ethan, you are now Mr. Collins in our, in our role play here. Okay, so um, embodying that character again, you're gonna think about whether or not your character ended up happy. Yes. Well, That's nice. I love that. That does sum up the news. Um, are you doing testing for it? Um, you're in it. What are you testing for? Okay. Well, I'm okay. I said it. That's all. Are you in it? I think I'm gonna go right after sophomore orientation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are you in it? I play the like the most. Wait, you play the what? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, yeah, I have like all of the male auditions for two of them, like for what last year, not this year, but like, yeah, like Daniel and Bradley and all of them. Yeah. How's the Good. <laughs> all right, yeah, that'll be fun. Everyone should go. We should all go opening night. Um, okay, so you're gonna be that same character. Who was Lady Catherine before? All right, so um, looking at the end of the book, then last time I had you define your version of happiness, like what would happiness be to you? Um, and I had you keep your papers and I had you keep your name tag, so pull those out. Um, and I want you just to talk with the people around you about this. Uh, did you end up happy according to your version of happiness? Let's just start with that first question. So according to your version of happiness, did your character end up happy, happy at the end? So you always have to quickly think about what Mr. Collins would think of happiness. See what's the idea? Yeah. You'll have to share with your group what you think happiness would be, and then what you, whether or not you fit into that. Uncertain. I think 
Okay, so then thinking about if those, if, um, if that is your version of happiness, and if your character ends up happy or not at the end is a good way to kind of like, tell what some of the themes of this book might be. So for rom coms, it's interesting, Jane Austen is like this amazing judge of character, we saw how little bits of her characters are still like we think about the character types are still present overall, but even just like tiny little exchanges that people have, they feel so true to how humans behave. So on the one hand, the themes can be um, about human behavior and kind of what people are like and what men and women are like in relation to each other or to their families and so on. But for rom romantic comedies in particular, there's also these kind of like teaching themes. How would I say that? like um, themes that teach you how to be a good person or how to get into a good relationship. Like so many rom-coms are like instructional. That's the word I'm looking for. They're instructional themes. So it's like, you need to be this way if you want to end up happy in love, you know? So thinking about your character then will tell you what the themes of the book are going to be. If you are Lady Catherine de Bourgh, for example, we don't like her through the whole thing, even when she's like fairly like, I don't know, on Elizabeth is Elizabeth's side, we recognize that she's just like this rich out of touch lady that has way too many expectations for women, right? And so the fact that she ends up unhappy at the end probably tells us a lot about how the novel wishes us to be. So talk again with each other about what you think your own as your character, your happiness or unhappiness tells us about the themes of the book. Okay, go for it. Older, like anything like seven. 
kind of sad how they talk to each other. Here we go. From Hollywood, here come the newlyweds. This dapper newlywed proposed marriage to his wife in a bedroom. He had pneumonia at the time and she was nursing him. Married just 10 months, Larry and Paula Johnson. Couple number two, this couple met in college. She first asked him to name her girlfriend, but then took a second look and decided to go out with him herself. As of today, they've been married just six months, Bob and Judy Miller. Couple number three, this newlywed husband loves Italian food so much that they cut their honeymoon short and flew back from Hawaii so his new wife could fix him some beetle parmesan. Married just six months, Henry and Mary Robinson, couple number four. These newlyweds rent a Mr. and Mrs. Motorcycle on weekends so that they can ride together through the sand dunes. Married just five months, Ronnie and Ellen Gachonia. Those are our newlyweds for today, and here is your host, the star of the newlywed game, Bob Gibbons. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, we're going to watch the commercials too. They're good. I did, but I still got it. Take some more. I'm not supposed to. Not for another couple of hours. You never know how annoying a headache's going to be. So the minute your head starts hurting, take Bufferin. With Bufferin, you've got more going for you against pain. Compared to simple aspirin tablets, Bufferin delivers nearly twice as much of this pure pain reliever when you need it most. Without the stomach upset aspirin can cause. Take Bufferin. It's faster, more effective than simple aspirin tablets. With Bufferin, you've got more going for you against pain. I wonder if using this new band spray deodorant will help my golf game. Well, it'll sure get rid of one handicap. <laughs> new band spray protects you from odor day and night. It's the new long-lasting spray. Band spray. It helps. <laughs> Your husbands have been secluded off stage. They cannot hear your answers. I'm going to ask you some questions. And I want you to answer these questions as you predict that your husbands will. And every time that your prediction matches your husband's answer, you'll be awarded five points. And remember, the one couple with the most points at the end of the game wins an exciting grand prize selected especially for that. So let's see how well you can predict what your husbands will say. Girls, how will your husband complete this sentence? I would most like to see my wife take a course in... Ellen? Language. Language. Terry. Um, not cooking. Driving. Driving, you say. And Judy. Golf. Golf. By Apollo and Larry say. Law. In law. Question number two. Girls, which of the following will your husband say comes closest to describing his reaction to a beautiful girl when you're with him in a public place? Will he say that he stares openly, tries to conceal his glances, or has lost interest? What do you say, Paula? Uh, he tries to conceal his Tries voice. to conceal his voice. Oh. Judy? Tries to conceal. Also tries to conceal. Terry? He thinks it's okay if he looks. Which one will the three will it be? Um, he doesn't conceal it. Doesn't conceal him. Stares openly, tries to conceal, or has lost interest. Which one of the three? Uh, he stares openly. Stares openly. And Ellen? Stares openly. Stares openly also. Girls, oh, what will you do? Her face face a lot to the, the show. <laughs> Which one? Ellen? Housework. Housework. Oh, and this is what's hardest for him no, around the house. Uh, picking up his clothes. Picking up his clothes. What will Bob say, Judy? Mm -hmm. Picking up his clothes. Picking up his clothes also. Paula, what do you think Larry will say? Um, taking out the garbage. Taking out the garbage. All right. Here's the last of our five point questions now. Girls, on a one to ten scale, with Sophia Lauren being ten, where will your husband rate your general sex appeal? One to ten scale, Paula. Well, he'll say ten. He'll say ten. See? Did he? Five. Five. And Terry, what do you think? You would say? I'd say ten. You would say ten. Ellen? One. One. Oh! Well, thank you very much. I'll be right back. We'll be right back. We'll see how well the wives have predicted what their husbands will say right after this message. But first, let's take a look at the opportunity for a moment after they were Gentlemen, complete this sentence. 
I would most like to see my wife take a course in what, Ron? Cooking. Cooking, you say. Ellen thought you'd say language. What's the matter with her cooking? Well, it's not too bad now, but at the beginning it was a little rough. <laughs> Okay. Oh, economy. Economy. Terry predicted you would say what, Terry? Hold it up for us. Driving. Does that have anything to do with your economy? Yeah. In the long run, yeah. <laughs> Bob Miller, what do you say? Golf. Golf. Judy predicted you would say golf, right? For my advice. That's your answer. Law, you say? Call us that law. Five point question. Gentlemen, which of the following comes closest to describing your reaction to a beautiful girl when you're with your wife in a public place? Do you stare openly, try to conceal your glances, or have you lost interest? Larry? Try to conceal my glances. You try to conceal them. All it predicted you would say, you try to conceal them. And you get lost in the She's not doing a very good job because she guessed the right box. I have to go along with that. Try to conceal? Judy predicted you would say, try to conceal glances. You get five points. How many points did you suggest to pick up five? I'd have to say, try to conceal. Try to conceal. Terry predicted you would say that you what, Terry? Hold it right up front. We can say, stare openly. <laughs> try to conceal and stare openly at the same time. Run. Stare openly. You stare openly. Ellen predicted you stare openly. Oh, <laughs> no. Five most exerting thing that you do around the house. The most exerting thing, Ron. Getting up in the morning. Getting up in the morning. And Ellen thought you would say oh, housework. What I don't do is housework. <laughs> I guess cleaning up or picking up my clothes. Picking up your clothes? Terry predicted you to say picking up your clothes. Right? Now, Bob, you can have five more of that stand right here. I guess take the trash out. Take the trash out? Yeah. Judy predicted you would say picking up your clothes. Oh. No points. Larry? Uh, playing the guitar. Playing the guitar. Paul, I thought you'd say taking out the garbage. Does that have anything to do with this guitar playing? Well, I never take the garbage out. Oh, you never take it out. He took his guitar out. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you're saying his guitar is garbage. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. The last of our five point questions, gentlemen, on a one to ten scale, with Sophia Lauren being ten, how would you rate your wife's general sex appeal? One to ten, Larry. <laughs> Very good answer. Don't let the bell ring. Ten. Ten, you say. Paul predicted you say ten. You say ten. <laughs> Bob Miller. <laughs> what do you say? Five. Five, you say. Judy predicted you would say five. <laughs> I would say 10. You would say 10. I say one. Oh, I'm not doing so good, am I? We'll be right back with some 10. Okay. We'll be back with just the husband and see how So, and then it flips, and the husbands are the ones to answer the questions first. Um, just so you know, we can find out who wins. I heard an interesting story about you. Uh, Ellen, I understand that Ronnie was attracted to the pond at a, at a beach restaurant not too long ago. What did he do? Well, he went swimming where he wasn't supposed to be. And uh, he was singing lovely hula hands with a camellia between his teeth? <laughs> That's right, huh? Mm -hmm. And you went in to dance, and what happened? Well, uh, they made me leave, not because I had was in the pool, but because I was getting the dance floor all wet. <laughs> Whatever possessed you to sing lovely hula hands with a chameleon between your hands? Well, I kind of got carried away with the Hawaiian drinks and all. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> the punch was punchy, right? <laughs> okay, couples, thank you very much for playing the newlywed game. By the way, 
If you have any questions you'd like to ask us or like us to ask our newlyweds, I hope you'll send them to the newlywed king. Post Office Box 3070, Hollywood, California. The zip code number is 90028. And remember, too, that all questions submitted oh, become the property of the newlywed king. Now, that's Post Office Box 3070, Hollywood, California. We would love to hear from you here on the Newlywed Game. And Bob and Judy Miller, once again, congratulations for winning that wonderful grand prize. I hope you have a good time. Well, those are the two that win it. Okay. So um, what we're going to do is the reason I played the advertisement is just because we're going to have a commercial break on our show. Um, yeah. You in small group, and we'll put you in these groups, are going to... Uh, maybe like you're going to plan a commercial so it's kind of a commercial skin for us you're going to plan a commercial that has something to do with pride and prejudice so it has to be something that could be sold during like regency time there's lots of stuff that they mention in pride and prejudice you know you could go the real estate route you could go uh yesterday we had people selling musical instruments because the women always do playing musical instruments you could sell something at the haberdashery store, which is where Lydia likes to go. That's where they sell like fabric and buttons and ribbons and so on. You could get very creative with this. Yesterday, someone else sold a pipe. Like it could be whatever you want that kind of fits into the the narrative of Pride and Prejudice. So I kind of want you to work in just different groups. So I'm just going to randomly kind of put in a different kind of Christiane and Audrey and. Remy in a group going over there. Yeah, and then we'll do groups of four. So then I'll have Sammy and Jacob and Ray and Asher come up in the group around here. And then the other four are grouped together. Okay. So you're just planning out what your commercial will be. I have, if you need visual aids, I've got, you know, like paper, different color paper, I've got crayons and so on. You can use whatever you need to just come on back and, and ask if you need something that you don't see. Oh, and we can't spend too long on this. You got 15 minutes to plan your commercial. So working at home, you would just sort of plan out what your commercial would be. It's kind of a weird day for working at home because it's a lot of interactive stuff, but you can do the commercial part. <laughs> yeah, Ben needs to see it. Okay. Yay, Ben. Okay, what's the commercial? Or is that it? You just say Carathon a bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> Carathon is on. This year, with our usual coaches and buggies, we are offering horses. Order now, and for 3,000 pounds, you can get a driver for free. Carathon! Woo! <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I love that idea. Okay, and it's a beautiful horse. She's beautiful. She is. She, she is really good. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to speak to the women are going to be the ones to hold up their things first. So where are the men? Raise your hand if you're playing a man. 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 Here you go. Here's your woman. 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 Man. Okay. 
Wait, are we saying what they would say? Okay, so for your questions, what is your greatest strength? Um, yeah, it's kind of, you're kind of playing a game here where it's like, you're, you want to put something that you believe about yourself, but that you kind of expect they will say about you too. Wait, so, we're so Yes, but you are answering this about you. So I think that the way that it works the best is if you are like being like real, like this is what I think my greatest strength is. So instead of answering them on this, oh, actually, I have one. Okay, great. So instead of answering them on that, you're going to answer it on some sheets of paper so that you can hold it up just like in the newlywed game. <laughs> okay, you don't have too long to do this, no. Kind of go with your gut. Yes. And Lady Catherine's job through all of this is to keep score, but you can also be like, um, you know, in the Muppets, how there are those two old guys that kind of sit on the sides and make fun of people. You can do that if you would like to. Oh, yeah. I feel bad when we have an odd number. We don't, we always have somebody sort of sitting at a little. What if they like it's the same thing, but like they do it differently? Like, we are pretty generous with it. Okay, so then, like, because for some of them, someone could put like on the end of the person could put the edge on the Same thing. Yeah. Okay, so for Ben, you're Mr. Collins. Um, so this activity kind of won't totally work from home. Um, so I'm going to upload the questions that you would ask about your what you would answer about your wife and you would answer about you and that's all you need to do for this activity, but I will keep recording so that you can see the results. Oh yeah, sorry, the markers are quite strong. <laughs> what is your greatest strength? Oh, Charlotte would? Yeah, Charlotte. Um, yeah, yeah, they like walking. What do you love most about Mr. Darcy? <laughs> That's true. You're thinking about that at the end because now they're newlyweds. His admiration for me. <laughs> That's what I love most about Mr. Darcy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, good. It's just for his sister. What if you just put like compassion for his family? And then it's like also could include Lydia and, you know, Elizabeth's family. Now that he's an in law. It's sad we don't know. <laughs> Stay in, uh, <laughs> talk to her sister, maybe hang out with Elizabeth. Yeah, I think she does, but I think it's Elizabeth's main friend, Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't think she's, I think she's, uh, Lydia is not delusional delusional about herself i think she just thinks that all the qualities she has are positive qualities yeah.
Like I like going to balls and flirting with men. What's wrong with that? That kind of idea. Like, yeah. That's yeah. Cool. That's yeah. Right. What would you mean? Take a course in. What would Mr. Bennett want? This is Bennett. Matters. Can't wait. What does Darcy think it was with me to fix? Maybe her first impressions. <laughs> but is that is that really like an actual for judgments of people? Yeah, maybe like there take is. a course <laughs> in. There like I just like I know what it would be, but I don't know how to say it. Words yeah. I think it'd be how to make good first how to read people or something like that. How to judge yeah. Psychology. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, who's done? I just have the one. I think this is done from the first question. Oh. Seven, eight, and twelve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My number system here is not great. Uh, <laughs> working. Okay, I'm going to give you two more minutes. You got to you got to answer. Not really. It's kind of pulling from sort of what you know about the character. Not all of it is talked about in the book. No emotion. You <laughs> no yeah, not really, as long as she's rich and hot. Not rich. Uh, and, um, so maybe she needs to take a money course in money. Yeah, money management or earning money. I can <laughs> finances. <laughs> oh, oh, she's so she was definitely cold. I'm not going to put that, but I'm going to put it. Like most of the What was she love? Jamie, his entail. His house. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> his children. His house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have Mr. Wickham? Paper. The ladies. <laughs> yeah, woman <laughs> moment. Woman moment. <laughs> Who's done? Who's your hand? The last one. Okay, just the last one. What would Mr. Collins want Charlotte to have more of or be better at? Oh, yeah, that could be good. I did like emotional showing. Hmm. I feel like it was like him. Maybe like she was more like Elizabeth. Beauty? Of <laughs> <laughs> course, on appreciating me, that could be Mr. Collins appreciating him. They probably did. How to appreciate yeah. your husband? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about former schooling, but I wonder if governesses would teach that. Probably. Okay, flip over. You gotta just make a choice. Flip it over so that they cannot see them. Oh, wait. I'm going to call them back in here. Oh. I think the black marker goes in that margin. Oh, okay, here we go. Mr. Dawson. Mr. Dawson. Mr. Dawson, no. <laughs> when you're not, I have to go. Mr. Dawson. Okay, make sure you're sitting next to your spouse. Yes, I do. 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 And then we'll have Lady Kathy Borg up here doing sticky next door. I hope I got it. And you got 
Ben can just see up here. Okay. okay. So, ladies, we're going to ask you, we ask the ladies, what is their greatest strength? Mrs. Bennett, right? Yes. What would you say is your greatest strength? Being a mom. Being a mom. What do you say, Mr. Bennett? Oh, I said uh, matchmaking. That's part of being. Oh, yeah. Maybe half a point on that one. Half a point. Yay. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> All right, Lydia, what would you say is your greatest strength? <laughs> My beauty, obviously. Oh, what'd you say, Mr. Wickham? <laughs> That's the <appeal>. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Elizabeth, what would you say is your greatest strength? I said being headstrong. I said, can hold your own. Yeah! <laughs> Good one! <laughs> Close, so yes. Um, Charlotte, what would you say is your favorite, is your biggest strength? My logic. What did you say, Mr. Collins? I said being present. Yeah, <laughs> that works, that works. You guys are amazing. Okay, Jane, what would you say is your greatest strength? I always keep my eyes. What would you say? I you said me? optimism. Um, me? Have a point, have a point. Because <laughs> her mind is often optimistic. <laughs> All right, we asked the ladies what their greatest weakness was. Mrs. Bennett, what is your greatest weakness? Nerves. What'd you say, Mr. Bennett? Her intellectual ability. <laughs> Not a match. <laughs> All right, Lydia, what would you say is your greatest weakness? I don't have. What would you say, Mr. Wickham? I said her damn family. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 wrong answer. <laughs> Elizabeth, what would you say is your greatest weakness? My judgment of people. Mm, what'd you say, Mr. Darcy? Her prejudice. Yes, give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> All right. Um, Charlotte, what would you say is your greatest weakness? Okay, <laughs> what would you say, Mr. Collins? I said her. Ooh. 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 No. And uh, Jane, what would you say is your greatest weakness? Too trusting. Yeah, Mr. Mingley, what would you say? I said optimism again. I think that one counts. Yeah, I think that one's okay. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. This next one, I'm not sure. <laughs> Mrs. Bennett, what do you love most about Mr. Bennett? His house. What did you what do you do prediction say? Try to stay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Bennett's reluctant about that one. Yes. Uh, right. uh, Lydia, so what do you so love most about Wickham? Keep on. And Wickham, what do you predict? Attractiveness. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. All right, Elizabeth, what do you love most about Darcy? His compassion for his family. Okay, Darcy, what do you think? I said that I love your mom. Oh no, but that was that's really, really nice. Okay. <laughs> I think I think it's like nice. Uh, Charlotte. Charlotte, what do you love about Mr. Collins? Money. Yeah, Mr. Collins, what'd you My money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knows it. All right. And Jane, what do you love most about Mr. Greenley? His outstanding civility. <laughs> so wow, Jane. That's... Jane, what did you say, Mr. Greenley? I said my dancing. Oh, no, no, it's not that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mrs. Bennett, what do you think is your most prominent emotion? Pride, emotion, we can see your usefulness. I put for the devotion. What did you yes. say, Mr. Bennett? That wounds me. Oh, no. Um, Lydia, what's your most prominent emotion? Wimsy. I said Yay! <laughs> These two know each other very well. Um, Elizabeth, <laughs> what is your most prominent emotion? Um, I said devotion. Okay, Darcy, what'd you say? I said pride. That was the other one I was debating between. Yeah, I kind of agree 
with Darcy on that one, Elizabeth. Sorry to say. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mr. Oh, Charlotte, what do you think? I said, yeah, Mr. Collins, what'd you say? Oh, whoa, okay. And uh, Jane, what'd you say? The motion. The motion. Mr. Bingley, what'd you say? I said people. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Bennett, what activity do you love to do the most? Gossip. Gossip. Mr. Bennett, what do you think? Have suitors over. <laughs> Same difference. <laughs> no, I don't think so. All right. Uh, Lydia, what's your favorite thing to do? Flirting, crossed out, dancing, but it was, it was said, hard to choose. I said party. Party. Yeah, they get it. They got it. All uh, right. Ooh, I don't like how they're winning. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth, what do you love to do most? Walking. Yeah. Ooh, take walks. Yay! <laughs> There we go. So interesting. Okay. Charlotte, what did you love to do most? So this one really walk. Walking, Mr. Collins? I said spending time with her. On the walks, but no. And Jane. Dancing. Wow, Ooh. good one. Okay. My husband would like to see me take a course in. Mrs. Bennett? Manners. Manners. Mr. Bennett? Basic intellectual skill. <laughs> <laughs> no mercy you the knife. <laughs> the knife. <laughs> there could be. Um, Olivia, what would your husband like to do take the course? Probably on? finances, even though they're dumb. I said sewing because you can sell it. Oh, that is good. Um half a point. Something to okay, maybe. All right, yeah. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth. Um, I said sociology is so like reading people better. Okay. I said literature. Oh. Um, Charlotte. I said flattery. Oh, to be better at flattery. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Collins, this is usual. Um, and Jane. I said literature. Um, okay. All right. So yeah. at the end of the round, uh. The Wickhams are winning. <laughs> <laughs> so, so maybe they were watch. right to get married right. in the first place. All right. So now we feel better for The ladies are going to go. Oh wait, no, we do a commercial break. Okay, which commercial would like to go next? Yes, that is commercial. Go ahead. Woo! Yeah, you can have two. Yeah. Do you want to grab the flip table? The camera oh, do you want to grab the <laughs> Some tea. Ah, I feel alive. <laughs> Mr. Wickham, Monster Green Tea, gives you now the energy to fight a Frenchman. <laughs> it won't give you food poisoning. We think. Awesome. <laughs> Here are written in a very confusing way. So good luck to you. Right. Shut the door on your way out. <laughs> okay, I think I got like two minutes in the back. Okay, so men, this time you answer on um, card. Let me get two of my paper. Oh, cheater. 
Oh, you got some. I do. Mr. Bennett, here's some paper to write on. Oh, you got some? Oh. Yeah, so you're going to write your answers on the cards this time. Here's more paper. So this time you're writing from your own perspective. So what is your greatest weakness? What is the thing that annoys you most about your lady? What is something you did that your lady thinks you really shouldn't have? How stubborn, and this is where I wrote the wrong, how stubborn are you? How would you describe your personality? And then would you give him a fist fight over your lady? And you're writing as your character. No prizes for winning. So I liked what the Bennett's were doing up here. <laughs> <laughs> and I like that he runs, runs out of space when water. Just like he's quick to marry old girls. <laughs> Some of them were easier, but some of them were like, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 You guys know what obsequious means? Mm -hmm. Obsequious is like it's a people pleaser, but in a kind of in a more annoying way. So it's like um, a yes man. You're always gonna just say whatever that person wants to hear to kind of get ahead. <laughs> I personally would not be a yes man. Darcy wouldn't. Yeah. I think he's like he prefers the verbal consent, not the right consent. Yeah, or else he would have been in a fist fight with the problem. Yeah. Right now. I hope it is a yes man. Well, you guys haven't known each other that long. Can we have a yes man? Yeah, let's throw that one away. Would you like my possible favorites? <laughs> Just what is it? What was the answer? What question were you answering? Three. Oh. <laughs> I'm stuck on number two. What's number two, Jeff? What's the thing that annoys you most about Jamie? Oh, yeah. Is there anything that annoys you? Maybe Mr. Bingley would be annoyed that Jamie didn't make her like, emotions clear, her intentions mm -hmm. clear. So not clear enough? Yeah. Maybe. And it, the, the book or maybe doesn't say something. too much about Bingley's. Uh, Character in general, I yes, guess. and so it's kind of hard. I think Bingley is like very easygoing, but oh, yeah. he's also like sort of swayed by his friends, right? We know mm -hmm. that. 
Um, so maybe he's annoyed that she didn't try to sway him, you know? So it's like, why not just tell me, tell me you like me and then I'll go for it. <laughs> why are we playing these games? Can you compare Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got to go a little fast for this one. I can give you two more minutes. So if you've got any, you got to get to that last commercial. No, I gave you two minutes. I'll back now. I did not do well with, I think I wrote these in a hurry and then I've never gone back and fixed them. Any men done yet? Oh yeah, Darcy's done, Wickham's done, Bingley's done. Okay. Why am I even playing this game? Yeah. <laughs> Really? Okay. <laughs> you got it? Mr. Bennett, are you done? Oh, I okay. just need to <laughs> I love Mr. and Mrs. Bennett. I know, me too. Yeah, yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Bennett are really um, sort of examples of the dangers of marrying for the wrong reasons. Mrs. Bennett, she's like, she's she's trying hard, like, she's serious. And... Mrs. Bennett is an unfortunate, unfortunate character. Um, she's kind of like the comic relief, like we're supposed to laugh at her, but like ultimately her goals to get all of her daughters married are like in the right, you know, they're, they're right. She's in the right. So like she needs to get her daughters married. Like she needs to um, care about those things. And Mr. Bennett is just sort of like, whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be dead. Who cares? <laughs> all right. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Hide your answers. Don't let your lady see. Yeah. All right, ladies, come on in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is sit next to your man. I changed my life in so you better, be, you better be on my vibe. I am sitting on the same Thank you, Lady Catherine. I thought a lot more about this. All right, men, Mr. Bennett, what is your greatest weakness? Uh, my lack of care about my daughter's being married. Negligence. Yeah. <laughs> Very. Wickham, what do you think your greatest weakness is? Uh, I feel different. Lydia? His dad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Darcy, what do you think your greatest weakness is? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah put pride. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Collins, what's your greatest weakness? Oh, you are really bad at that. Charlotte, what did you, what did you say? No, but uh, I like it. Um, okay, Bingley, what's your greatest weakness? I said too easy going. I said yes. What did you yes, say, Jane? You're talking about the stand first. Uh, no. Okay. Um, Mr. Bennett, what is the thing that annoys you most about Mrs. Bennett? Her obsession on anyone with honor and marriage. My behavior. <laughs> um, half a point and half a point. <laughs> it's all based on. And have a point. Okay. Um, Wickham, what's the thing that annoys you most about Lydia? Ooh, Lydia. Shopping habit. Oh, the habit, Ashley. What'd you say, Lydia? My existence. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> now that you're married. Um, Darcy, what is the thing that annoys uh, Elizabeth most about you? Her, I'm. Um, oh, sorry. 
other way. Yeah. Her willingness to bend her views. Oh. Yeah. Prejudice. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Collins, what annoys you most about Charlotte? Oh, no. Charlotte, what did you say? <laughs> oh, no, no, it's actually how you look and everything about you. Okay, Mr. Bingley, what annoys you most about Jane? I said she's not clear enough. What did you say, Jane? Her overprotective sister. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, Mr. Bennett. Yeah, we what is something that Mrs. Bennett thinks you really shouldn't have done? Uh, told Elizabeth no about Mary Hollins. Oh, yeah. What'd you, what'd you say? What, how'd you say the question again? <laughs> I know it's a weird question. It's really funny. What is something that, so Mr. Bennett, what is something that you think Mrs. Bennett thinks that you shouldn't really, you really shouldn't have done? Not have a son. What is something you're, you did that your lady thinks you really shouldn't have. You really think yeah. that he okay. should have had a son. Yes. Got it. Okay. You but no answer. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mr. Wickham, what is something that Lydia thinks you shouldn't have done? Well, honestly, she should have questioned my habits of being general. Oh, okay. Lydia, what do you think he shouldn't do? He shouldn't have waited so long to marry. I'm sorry. Your family's cringe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Darcy, what is something that Elizabeth thinks you shouldn't have done? Confess my feelings. Confess his love. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Collins, what does Charlotte think you shouldn't have done? Uh, proposing to other people. Yeah, Charlotte, what do you think? I said siding with Mary Hollins. Oh, yeah, you just, you don't really care that he proposed to other women. So I have to get that house, right? Mr. Bingley, what does Jane think you shouldn't have done? I uh, went to London. Yeah. I said leave it belong. Yeah, good. <laughs> All right, how stubborn are you, Mr. Bennett? Uh, I can be persuaded. We can be persuaded. Okay, there we go. We've got how, stu how stubborn are you? You can't change a man. You can't change a man. All right, the your points. Darcy, how stubborn are you? He can be persuaded. Mm, you can't change a man. Uh, yeah, I, I think change. that works for your characters. Mr. Collins, how stubborn are you? I think I'm you think you're flighty? What do you think? Uh, okay. And Mr. Bingley, how stubborn are you? I can be persuaded. All right, good. Jane and Bingley. Um, how would you describe your personality, Mr. Bennett? Uh, let's see. Uh, easy going. Easy going. How would you describe his personality? <laughs> there you go. Um, Wickham, how would you describe your personality? Uh, arrogant. He's very arrogant. Oh, and that's what Lydia likes about him. Darcy, how would you describe your personality? Introverted. Introverted. Yeah. Mr. Collins, how would you describe your personality? <laughs> arrogant. Arrogant. And Mr. Bingley. Easy going. Yay. And yes or no, you would get into a vice fist fight over your lady, Mr. Bennett. No. No. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think it might be for different reasons, but no. Uh, what do you think you're a fist fight over Lydia? I'm fighting. Oh, yeah. She's, my lady is mine. Hell yeah, my lady is mine. <laughs> Lydia? Well, I'd say yes, but in actuality, I don't think you would. Ooh, so so no, no point. No point. <laughs> but she said yes. Oh, okay. Points. She said yes, but no. Yes, but no. It's a half a point. It's a, it's a, it's a point. Lady the Borg is sick of our nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Darcy, would you give him a fist fight? No. Elizabeth, what do you think? I said he would. Oh, no, he would not. Uh, Collins. <laughs> nah. No. Nah. Yeah. All right. And Mr. Bingley? I said no. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. No. And when we, at the end of the day, who is our winner? We tied. We're tied. <laughs> Darcy and Elizabeth, Lydia and Wickham in the stairs. The dark horse. All right, we got one minute to hear from our last commercial sponsors. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to prop this up. Right? Yeah. I'm just going to hold it. Thank you, Lady Catherine. Oh, yeah, First time you've ever had a job. <laughs> How did it feel, Lady Catherine, to have a job? Wait. Here we go. Yeah, you're like walking. You're like so much walking. Help, I've fallen and I can't giddy up. <laughs>
hello and welcome. We, we're the Mustang horse dealership and we got all types of horses for you. <laughs> we got horses for if you're tired of walking. We have no nightmares, new colors, no payment for 12 months, petite sizes for your woman. No more walking, easily responsive after some training. Uh, free horse test rides, hides for everyone. Some models can go up to two horse power. Saddle and reins not included. Get your horse today for your wonderful significant other. <laughs> wow. So what would you go to? Parathon or what was your place called? Parathon. Parathon or Mustang. Horse Mustang. Mustang horse dealership. All right, we will talk more about the ending of this book next time. You don't have reading homework, but you do have to fill out the major works.